Hi everyone, my name is Debbie and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to colour a strawberry using this design from the super cute Colour in Heaven collection issue 48 Strawberry Shortcake. If you enjoy this tutorial and would like to colour along, you can order your copy from shop.colourinheaven.com. The link will be in the description down below. So in today's video I'm going to be using the Prismacolor Premier. Now all of these colours can be found in the 72 set. That's the one that I've got. And the colours that I've got, I will list them all off now but as I'm going I will uh, tell you as well. But I've got Canary Yellow 916, Yellowed Orange 1002, Poppy Red, this is one of my favourite reds and this is 922 and then we've got carmine red 962 crimson red 924 we've got the prismacolor white beautiful pencil and that is 938 and then the one that i pulled out very last minute that i want to use for shading is terracotta which is 944 so i've pre-sharpened all these all ready so what we want to start off with first is to, to add uh, highlights to the strawberries. So we'll start off with the Canary Yellow. This is PC916 and we want to put this at the highest point. So let's say our light source is coming in this way, straight above, straight above. So I want to put a very thin layer of this down, a very thin layer. I have seen a little preview of the rest of the images in this uh, issue and they're adorable, they are adorable. There's uh, a few grayscale images as well which I really enjoy. I used to have when I was younger one of the little dollies and it uh, had a pink hat, like a baby, baby pink hat. So it's a pleasure to be colouring one of these pages. So again I want to bring it probably maybe a third the way down with this canary yellow just a light layer, just a light layer at the moment maybe a little more here so the next colour will be the yellowed orange which is 1002 and I want to add a little bit either side of the strawberry as well as blending it down a little bit because this is going to be the dark, darkest point where it's just in the wheelbarrow again thin layers because we will use the white to blend out Does anybody else remember, remember this little cartoon? It's been around for years and years now, hasn't it? You could do with some lovely rosy red cheeks and a, a, a rosy little nose on this one too. So now that I've popped that colour down, I know it looks really, really light, but we will just be layering it up. So we're skipping the red for now and we're going to the carmine red. So that's the poppy red, which is my favourite. So we'll go to carmine red. You could use a lighter shade of pink in this area. It's entirely up to you. But this is the way that I like to colour strawberries. And what we'll do later on as well where these little seeds are, I want to cast a shadow under each of them. So I'm bringing this up ever so slightly and blending it into the orange that we just popped down, the yellowed orange. You don't want any, any lines. And then now we want to add that poppy red. And I want to be really, really light-handed with this. 
even more so than the, than the last colours. And bringing it up. And then when you feel like you're creating a line that you don't want, just be a little bit more lighter handed and go in with your layers. It is a process, trust the process. So we'll do this side now. See how it's mixing with the yellow, it's turning a lovely orange colour. So we want to go back in now with the canary yellow. And I can be a little bit more heavier handed now. Now that we've got the base layered on. See some areas I'm working in a circular motion and then other layers it's it's just a straight line. You can mix it up. So now I want to go in again with the poppy red which is the 922. Start to deepen this up a little bit now. I want to make this straw really really ripe and really juicy. You see it as we're gradually doing the colours and then we'll blend with the white and it'll, it'll all just come together. Now, you see under the very bottoms of the leaves, I do want to make them a little bit darker with this poppy red because there would be a natural shadow there but not too much that I'm covering up with the yellow just a little bit and then we've got one more red, a deep red that I want to deepen it up even more So we'll take some of that crimson red, which is 924. Work at the bottom and then work our way up. Medium pressure. And then I think I'll start on this side. What an adorable picture this is. I think this is going to be really nice in gel pen, the writing. Some simple glittery gel pen. See how you're just starting to deepen it up now. Same thing where I added the shadows with that poppy red. Deepen them up a little bit. So now we've got the initial layers done, I'm going to use the Prismacolor White in 938. I'm going to use this to blend all over. That's why you want them layers. Now you could leave it like this, I do want it a little bit deeper than this though. So we will go ahead and add one or two more layers. See, so just completely smooths it out. It's 
take my little fan brush, take the dust off. So back in with the poppy red, I think. And we'll start off the opposite way around this time. Start up at the top. But you can see how it still shows up even though you blended it out. When you look at a strawberry, it's not just red. It's it's different shades in there. So that's what you want to add if you want a realistic strawberry. Now I'm using medium pressure now. I think this issue as well is great for introducing your kids as well if they've not seen these characters before because they really are adorable. It was just like the Kerbers one. I loved that one. So back in with the Crimson Red. Looking very nice. You see how I started it off with it being real light here, but now as we're going on, I'm seeing different areas that I want to tweak. In, there's no problem with going over it. Adding shadows where you want them. Perfectly fine. Then I'm going to touch a little pink in there, I think. The carmine red. It says it's red, in my opinion, it's more pink. Just a touch. And then the canary yellow again, mostly just over the yellow areas this time, just to get some of that pigment back because we use the white. So underneath the seeds now, you've got all these individual seeds. I'm going to add a curved shape, so it's sort of like a a C shape lying down maybe or half a circle under each of the seeds just to add a little bit of a shadow and then we'll go ahead and add the terracotta and that's our darkest one out of the palette today which is 944 just a touch Whoops a daisy. I'm forever doing that. I think the last thing I want to do is do a very, very thin layer of the poppy red. Just a really, really thin layer over certain areas. And then I'm quite happy with this. This will help blend that terracotta colour out as well. And there's one last step for this little strawberry. And our very last step, for adding a little bit of a highlight, I've got the Uniball Signo White Gel Pen. Test that we're working, we are. And then we want to add a little bit of highlight, but sort of like around the seeds. It's really random. There's no perfect way to do it. It's just the best way is to be random. Or if you've got a white acrylic paint pen, that'll work just fine. Or even some white acrylic. I 
think I need to switch over to my other one, which is here. So after very many trials, I found a, a acrylic pen that will work. And this, I've took the, the branding off it, but I will link it in the description of the video. But the brand is called Soonis, and this is a beautiful acrylic pen. Why I didn't pick this first? So I can go over the top of this and it will work beautifully over the prisma colour. I don't have any issues. Now, I don't want to add the white just around the seeds. I want it to be really random. You know, the highlights from the sun is going to be random, isn't it? So maybe add some of these together, make it a big highlight in the middle there. Bring this one up here. Let's deepen this side up a little bit. See, so none of uh, this, um, well, I do actually want to join that up, make that even bigger. So I think we'll start off with this one next, this little strawberry. So we'll stick to the exact same colours with this little strawberry, but we're going to have to do it a little bit different. So where I've put the highlights here, I think we should have the highlights here so it's not going to be down this area. So we want a thin layer again, plenty of thin layers. So that is canary yellow and that is 916 and then we move on to the yellowed orange which is 1002. Add that all around the edges and then pull it up ever so slightly as well. It's so cute this image. I can see me finishing this off today. <laughs> I'll move on to Carmine Red which is 926. I'm going to colour all of the remaining area with this. I think I want to pull it up again. Just a little bit around here. Really light hand. And then it was the poppy red, 922. I'm using medium pressure now. I'm pulling that colour up. And then in with the crimson red, which is 924. And we want it the darkest at the very bottom so the light's coming down this way so it'll be the darkest at the bottom these illustrations would look adorable colored up in a children's bedroom framed oh so cute. I'm going to pop a little bit as well of the Terracotta 944. Just a little bit. Because I do want to add these under, underneath the, the seeds. Along with the Crimson Red, which is the 924. I want to blend that top area, I'm not going to mess with the bottom area because it is a smaller area, you don't have to be as detailed, I don't think, as the larger one. We'll use the white to blend. And then a little bit more of the canary yellow, which is the 916. And the very last pencil is the poppy red and then we can go ahead and add the highlights 
and I'll use the soonest pen again. Give it a little test. There we go. I want the highlights at the top of this one. Really random shaped. Don't want it perfect. Just like that. I think that is adorable. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and this design, don't forget that you can order your own copy of Colour in Heaven issue 48 Strawberry Shortcake from the online shop. Just head to shop.colourinheaven.com or click on the link in the description. We'd love to see your Strawberry Shortcake colouring in the Friends of Colour in Heaven Facebook group. Please like, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future Colour in Heaven videos. Bye!